Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. So today I was looking into one of the videos created by a Googler called Priyanka in Google Cloud Platform's official YouTube channel, which the topic is uh, hosting a static website using Google Cloud Storage. So I looked into the video, so I was impressed. So I thought, why don't I try with that? So that's what we are going to do today. So we'll use a template which is available, which is a free template and HTML template, which uses HTML, JavaScript and CSS. And we'll try to host that using Google Cloud Storage. So this is the link. I'll put the link in the description. So let me choose blue color. So you have the option of downloading it. Just right click down, copy it. And let's go to our project. And what we'll do is uh, we'll use wget to get that zip file. Let's get that. And let's in the interim, create a bucket called learn GCP with Mahesh and try to upload everything into that bucket. And since our website wants to be reachable to everywhere, everywhere, let's try to create a multi-regional bucket. Learn GCP with Mahesh. Continue and let's make it multi-regional and most of the hits would be from Asia. So what I'll do is I'll make it a multi-regional uh, bucket in Asia. So that should be good enough. Let me click create. So by the time the bucket gets created, we'll just maximize our cloud shell, cloud shell environment and you should see there's a zip file. So let's unzip it or better let's move it into a folder static. Let's move this file into that static folder and CD into that. Let's unzip this. So the files have unzipped it. Now what we'll do is we have lots of files, HTMLs, uh, JPEGs, uh, PNG files and some CSS files also. That's what I understand. Yeah, CSS files also there. So let's try to move that. So by doing this, we'll also learn one specific command which could be important from the exam perspective. So Google Cloud Architect exam perspective, gsutil. Now there are lots of files. So you can directly do simply cp and uh, let me see whether it has created a folder. Okay, it has created a folder. So all the things in this has to be moved. So that is what is the key intent here. So one way you can recursively, definitely you need to recursively copy it. But you, if you just do gsutil cp simple, that's the file name, folder name. So I'll just hit enter. Okay, simple blue, simple style underscore blue trees. So this is the file folder which I wanted to copy and the file, the bucket name is this. So you can just do this. It should get copied one by one and you need to definitely mention uh, a recursive because there is a folder file here. Uh, recursively you should copy it. That is something you need to do it. If you just do this, it will do one by one file, one file after another file. But what you can do is, I guess in the yesterday's video I had mentioned about that, use minus M. This is a multi-threading option. So if you do this, it will copy the files in like in a multi-threaded fashion. So let me hit enter and you should see, okay, something went wrong. I guess, uh, let me just blue. Okay, I did not mention trees. So if you just do this, you should see it gets copied in chunks like like sorry not chunks in a group of four or five files at one time so that's the stuff so the files are copied now now if i just refresh my files my bucket it should be all good so i see the content there all good so let me just open up my index.html file and see how it looks like okay i had to open this in a new tab and let's see it looks really bad, but here my blue page looked really wonderful. So it looks very beautiful, but here it's not looking good. So what's the thing? The thing is that why it's not looking good is the access control. Every file is not public. It's still not public. So that is the main reason why we are not able to see that beautiful blue static page. So to do this, what we need to do is 
we need to update our ACLs. So since all files has to be public, so what we'll do is just run this command gsutil. Again, we can do it in a multi-threaded fashion, ACL access control list, change and make everything into public. So that's what we are going to do in a command line way. So all users is one which will make this file accessible to everybody for the entire internet. And let's give them only read only permission. And my bucket name is this. And I just can put like star. So every folder in this or if you want to be on the safer side, what you can do is you can just add only to this folder simple simple style underscore blue trees so all the files inside this would be publicly accessible so just keep an eye on this part the public access the moment we run this command everything would be publicly accessible so the access would become public and again because we are running in multi-threaded fashion it would be much much faster so it looks like things have done. Let me just refresh it and you should see the public stuff. All good. Now, if I just go and click on my index page, but not on the index page, but on the public link. So just click on it. And you should see a wonderful blue screen, a static page, which you see in the template, not this one. The one which shows on the website, you see the same thing working here so that's how you can host a static website and once you have hosted it the next important thing which you need to change is you need to change this dns so if you can leave it as is then it would be totally free i would say because uh, google cloud storage provides you almost like 5 gb free every month that's what i say and uh, how much would be this file size? It would be in few KBs. So without literally paying any single penny, and if you don't want the DNS to be also updated, you want to just leave with this, you're totally free. Or if you already have a DNS, what you can just do is, so you can go to your domain service provider and go and add c.storage.googleapis.com as the C name and you should be able to use your DNS. So that's how you can do it. So based on this uh, video, which the Googler created Priyanka. So I was uh, fascinated about that. So I thought, let me create something live and show you to you. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. So hope the video is helpful and uh, the concept was really interesting. Thank you for watching.